Hello friends and greetings from Iceland. A few hours ago we had explosive activity at the volcano when lava came in contact with the ground water. This happened shortly before 4 o'clock Icelandic time and here we are watching it as it happened. Uh, shortly before 4 o'clock um, explosive activity began when the magma came into contact with groundwater where a lava where a lava flows into a fissure by Hagafatl mountain. The magma causes the water to be quickly converted into a gas state steam causing steam explosions and tafra fall ash. Um, so let's take a look how it happened. I will go for okay you can see it now as it happening. Um, yeah let's go forward a little bit. Yeah now let's zoom it in. You see uh, this is what happens when magma hits ground water. It didn't last long just for less than one hour this extreme explosive activity. There you see the town of Grindavik uh, in the background. It's quite impressive. It started as a suffusive eruption but you see we had an episode when lava came in touch with ground water which is in the area and this is what happened then. Those are extremely poisonous gases. It's very dangerous to be nearby when this happens. Lava and water are not friends as you see. It's incredible to see it. We never seen anything like this so far in during the previous eruptions. Iceland has a, a lot of groundwater all over the place, but we haven't seen it uh, to happen before. There isn't much groundwater around Grindavik, but in some spots you have it. Very wild explosions. It's almost going black steam there. Now let's go forward a little bit. You see, it didn't last long, just some 10 15 minutes extreme activity, and then it's uh, uh, went off. It was a very brief episode uh, when this happened. You see, it was just half an hour later, there was already nothing. But let's take a look right now, what is happening right now. This is live. See, there's still steaming going on from, from that spot right now. It's already um, 25 minutes past 10 o'clock in Iceland. And the lava flows uh, subsided significantly decline it very much. Now lava went over yet another road called Nesvegur and I will show you where exactly it crossed uh, uh, Nesvegur road which approaches Grindavik from the west. So here you see the uh, map of Grindavik and the ongoing eruption is taking place along this ancient fissure line call it Sunnuka gear and um, here you see Hagafat, Hagafat mountain the most of activity is right here next to Hagafat mountain and right north of this uh, green, uh, greenhouse we have a wall which uh, protects Grindavik so lava ran here uh, this mine had this quarry had been flooded a long time ago but it uh, ran over the road right here you see uh, somewhere in this point 
and now they're already speaking about making new road across the lava with just spill it today and it's question really of uh, hours or a day or two when they will start making the new road as soon as the eruption subsides so and we have a wall all around Grindavik here to the west as well and also there is a wall here where you see this uh, must uh, it's used for navigation I think mm, uh, and the must hasn't been destroyed because there is a wall here which protects it and there is a wall here to the west of Grindavik so lava ran in between the mast and the road here west of Grindavik and uh, it uh, went rather far and it uh, crossed the road somewhere in this area flooded the road so this road uh, to the west of Grindavik it's called Nas Vagor or the peninsula road it had been uh, destroyed by the lava it somewhat just crossed it over a uh, very thin uh, layer of lava cross it over this road uh, and now Grindavik is not accessible from the west so lava destroyed this road here north of Grindavik and also this road uh, to the west of Grindavik had been also destroyed by the lava must survive because there is a wall and all the houses had been saved thanks to the walls um, the lava flows had been redirected and now I read in the news that uh, most of activity is somewhat to the north and uh, now lava is also moving here north of Silingafat, this is Silingafat mountain and it's going to the west here hasn't yet reached the uh, Blue Lagoon Road, Grindavik Road a bit further north but it's close to spillover for the third time in this intersection you know we already had two spillovers here and here we have also the lava road about the lava from March which was built over now it's going again in the direction uh, just north of uh, this mountain so it's moving also there but most of activity now is to the north yeah this is what I want to show you and uh, this road to the east of the town it survives or lava never made it there so it's only one remaining access road to Grindavik now is from the east uh, so they can drive in and out from Grindavik and no one left no one is left in Grindavik right now city is completely empty and of course there is also access uh, from the sea to Grindavik from the hub to the harbor but for now eruption is declining rapidly and it's likely to be very short eruption and most of activity will be in the first uh, during the first hours the first day now it's already declined significantly but of course there is still a lot of activity this mine had been destroyed by the lava a long time ago and um, so those are the updates regarding the lava flows and this is the live view to the west of the town you see we have a wall here west of the town I showed you uh, how lava spilled over the road here to the west of the town you see it's close to that lake here next to the ocean and now you can't really drive through that while that road is completely destroyed by the lava and here you see the must the must survives because there is a wall right next to it and it's very thin lava flow and uh, it came during the first hours I don't think there will come more lava here again because it's already emptied itself like the southern fishes and um, now the activity narrowed up further north so there is no hot lava flow in here anymore so I think this is the final version and I'm sure they will make a new road across this lava here from the, from the west 